Getting into government services, many students in India dream of this. Nowadays, children even start their preparation in school days for getting into government services. If your dream is to get onto the central services of Indian government as a group A officer, please make sure that you watch this video till the end. Today, I'm going to tell you about Indian Economic Service. Planning Commission, Planning Board, Ministry of Economic Affairs. These are few of the many places that you can get in after successfully completing Indian Economic Service Examination. Not just that, you can get into different ministries and departments that are concerned with the economic and social sector. Also, you can travel to various other countries on deputation and be part of bodies like UN. If you have got into the Indian Economic Service at a right age, you can even reach to the position of secretary to government in ministries related to the economic sector. Twenty-one is the minimum age for writing Indian Economic Service examination and the maximum age limit for general category is 30. However, for other reservation categories, the age limit is different. You can check the description box for getting an idea on the age limit for different reservation categories. Apart from that, you should have completed your post-graduation in either economics or applied economics or business economics or econometrics to be eligible for writing the Indian Economic Service Examination. Earlier, Indian Economic Service examination used to happen once in a year. However, recently the pattern has changed and whenever there is a requirement for recruiting candidates, that is when UPSC comes out with a notification. Make sure you check upsc.gov.in for notification details. For the Indian Economic Service examination, you have papers like General English, General Studies, General Economics and Indian Economics. The first two papers, which is General English and General Studies. Each of these papers carry 100 marks and each examination is of 3 hours. Please remember that all the papers of Indian Economic Service are of subjective type. And on the second day, you will write General Economics Paper 1 and Paper 2. Each of this paper carries 200 marks and the duration of the examination is 3 hours each. And on the third day, you have to clear a paper in General Economics 3 and Indian Economics. Again, each of these papers are for 200 marks and duration of the exam is 3 hours each. For details on the syllabus, make sure you check the link in the description box because I have given the syllabus in detail. Those children who are interested in getting into the economic services of India, Make sure you don't miss this examination.